Hello, I am Nanda, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS headquarters in Seattle. Today, I am going to show you how you can troubleshoot issues with associating the AWS managed Microsoft Active Directory to your RDS SQL Server instances. So let's get started. Here's what you can do when you have an AWS managed Microsoft AD configured for your AWS account but it doesn't appear while creating a new RDS SQL Server instance or when modifying an existing instance. Currently, the Windows authentication for RDS SQL Server instances is supported only in a VPC. This means that the AWS managed Microsoft AD must be in the same AWS region and in the same VPC as the RDS SQL Server instances for the AD to appear when you create or modify an instance. The AD doesn't appear even if there is a VPC pairing between two VPCs. Let's go through the steps when you have an existing RDS instance and you want to check if the directory services and RDS instances are in the same VPC. As you can see, I have already signed into the AWS Management Console. I will navigate to the RDS console. Click on DB Instances. Choose the RDS instance that needs to join the Active Directory. Under Connectivity, you can see the VPC associated to your RDS instance. Now to check if the directory services is created in the same region and in the same VPC as the RDS instance, go to the directory services. Choose your directory services that you created. Under directory details, you can find the VPC information and make sure that it matches with the RDS instance. If the VPC is different and if the directory services is in a different AWS region than the RDS SQL Server instance, then you can't see the AD listed during the RDS instance creation. While creating new RDS instance, make sure that you select the same VPC as your directory services. Then you can see the AD listed in the Microsoft SQL Server Windows authentication list. Let me show you that. Let's go to RDS, create database, SQL Server, Choose your desired DB instance class, a DB identifier, a master user, password, click on next. Make sure the VPC is same as your directory services and now you will be able to see your directory services. Create database. Now here's what you can do if you have the AWS managed Microsoft AD in the same region and in the same VPC as my RDS SQL Server instances. Note that you might not see the option to add the active directory while creating a new RDS instance or modifying an existing instance. Currently, Amazon RDS does not support Windows authentication for RDS SQL Server in all the AWS region. This means that you aren't provided with an option to add active directory to your RDS instance in the following regions. US West North California, Asia Pacific Mumbai, South America Sao Paulo, AWS Go Cloud US East, AWS Go Cloud US West. So here's what you can do if you get this error message when you try join an RDS instance to a domain. For the RDS instance that has failed to join a domain, rejoin the RDS instance to the domain. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the RDS Console page. Click on DB Instances. Select the RDS instance which failed to join the domain. Modify the RDS instance. Scroll down to Microsoft SQL Server Windows Authentication. Choose None for Directory and apply the changes immediately. When the modification is complete, the RDS instance automatically reboots. This might take some time. As you can see, now the instance is available. Now to join the directory, modify the RDS instance and then scroll to Microsoft SQL Server Windows Authentication. For directory, choose your AD from the list and apply the changes immediately. When the modification is complete, the add-ins instance automatically reboots. This may take a while. If this has not resolved the issue, make sure that the inbound and outbound rules are configured correctly for RDS SQL Server instances to communicate with the Active Directory. Now, here's what you can do if you have associated AWS managed Microsoft AD to your RDS instance, but you can't log in to RDS SQL Server instance using Windows Authentication. To log in using Windows Authentication, you must create a SQL login on the RDS SQL Server instance for the AD user or group by using the RDS instance master credential. 
As you can see, I am now logged into the terminal using SQL Server Management Studio or similar. Log into your RDS SQL Server instance using the master user. Creating a Windows authentication login using the graphical user interface isn't supported on RDS SQL Server. So now we can see the error has occurred. You must use T-SQL to create the Windows authentication login. Now the Windows login has been successfully created on the RDS SQL Server instance. Now let's retry connecting to the RDS SQL Server instance using the Windows authentication. We should be able to successfully log in. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.